Hey guys, Wombat here, and today I'll be explaining spin stealers, also called spin equalizers. Spin stealers are combos that use the opposite spin direction of their opponent to steal spin and outlast them at the end of the battle. These combos had their origins in the plastics era with the notorious zombie combos that combined stamina, spin stealing, and defense and were very difficult to defeat. The way these combos steal spin is through opposite spin direction. While two same spin Beyblades push against each other, two opposite spin Beyblades will push each other along until they both stop spinning. To explain how these combos outspin their opponents, I'll need to explain two terms, precession and life after death, commonly known as LAD. Precession is the ability to remain upright at low spin velocities without falling over, while LAD is the ability to continue spinning or rolling after having fallen over. Spin stealers generally have some combination of the two. I've already made a video specifically about plastic zombies, so now I'm going to list some of the best spin stealing setups in MFB Standard and Limited. For Standard, up first is VD145 RDF. It's the most defensive out of all the spin stealing setups but also has the worst stamina and loses to all setups in the same spin unless it can KO. On the opposite side of the spectrum is VD, which outspins all the other setups in the same spin. However, uh, VD also leaves the combos underside exposed and weak to attacks from below. SA165 EWD is unique in that it has the most LED out of all the setups and can roll on its ring after falling over but it's also weak to scraping on that same ring should it be knocked off balance early in the match. SA165 RDF has the most offensive potential as it can expose y bang or whatever the bottom wheel of the Synchrom is, but it also suffers the recoil of exposing that wheel. Also since RDF almost never falls over, SA165 doesn't really do anything for the combo. F230 GCF is a more mobile setup that is able to avoid attacks or also KO if needed. However, it is hard to control and any attacks that do connect will likely KO it due to how close it is to the stadium exit. BD145GF is the fastest and most mobile setup and uses its raw speed to tank hits despite being on the highest recoil tip in the game. However, its drawbacks are similar to RDF in that it gets outspun by nearly everything the same spin if it cannot KO it. A lot of the setups in Limited are very similar to those in Standard, but use Medio L Drago instead of Dragoon since Synchroms are banned in Limited. ED145 EWD and TR145 EWD are a lot like SA165 EWD since they combine Procession and LAD. CH120 EWD is generally the best against shorter combos, but it can adjust to be taller ones too. F230 GCF is the same as it was in Standard, while S130 GCF is more similar to BD145 GF in performance. Despite having many unique setups, the launching techniques for spin stealers are pretty universal. Against opposite spin attack types, you'll want to weak launch, and if you're using EWD, BD, or GCF, a sliding shoot can also make you more difficult to KO. Against defense and stamina, you'll want to launch at full power for same spin opponents, but a weak launch against opposite spin can ensure you aren't KO'd by an early hit. When using GCF or GF, a weak launch is mandatory so the Beyblade does not self-KO. Quite a few combos can counter spin stealers, however. Same spin 230 or E230 combos will outspin them, as will stamina combos using a shorter track, abbreviated LTSC for a low track stamina combo. While weak launching does help against attack, it isn't foolproof, and unless you're using RDF, attack types will usually win against spin stealers, especially if they're in the same spin direction. Naturally, as spin equalization goes both ways, battles between two opposite spin spin stealers are generally a coin toss dependent on which player's parts spin more freely, and are generally only won by a fraction of a rotation. While they don't technically counter each other, Matchups between opposite spin spin stealers are by no means a guaranteed victory and should be avoided at all costs. This really only applies to standard, as in the limited format, Medio El Drago is actually able to outspin right spin stamina types consistently by the use of the rubber on its energy ring. So, to recap, 
Spin stealers are useful for beating the majority of non-aggressive opposite spin combos, and the stationary setups are generally seen as a safe pick in tournaments. However, in standard, they are actually risky combos to use due to the likelihood of an opponent using a similar combo in opposite spin. While limited to medio is much more consistent, it is also very easy to KO even for a stamina type. Nonetheless, these combos are incredibly effective if used at the right time. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video informative. If you have any suggestions or other comments, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. I'm Wombat and I'll see you all next time.